Hello and welcome in this quick tutorial on how to synchronize a video clip with another video or a soundtrack. Here I've opened a project that's 1080p, 25 frames per second. And uh, the files I'm going to work with, which I've already imported, don't all match those settings. This one does, but this one you see is a smaller image, uh, same uh, rate though. And this one is 720p, 30 frames per second. It won't be a problem, though I've, I've uh, noticed that you will get into trouble if you try to synchronize a 24 frame per second with a 25 one, or with 29.9, but 25 and 30 frames per second get along well. I'm going to pick, first, uh, first thing, let's talk about the workspace. You don't want to use something like this, because you want to have two viewers. So, I'm going to decide which one is going to be my main track. If you only have two videos or two files you want to synchronize, this is not an issue. But if you have a bit more, it's a good idea to pick the nicer one and say that it's going to be the one you're going to synchronize the others to. I was careful enough in these uh, test clips I made to do a clap clapping motions which means a uh, clear neat and sharp movement the, uh, and um, a sharp sound as well as a little bit up oh, and there I am clap so on here on in this window I have my visual cue and the playhead stopped right on the spot I wanted to now I'm going to synchronize this with the footage coming from my phone I'm going to look for the exact same moment. Where is it? Somewhere around here. Okay. That was. I heard the clap. I went a bit too far. And I sh that should be about it. I don't need to be very precise. Now, let's set an end point here that will. Um, that I will use as a mark and bring this in point to the playhead and now since I want the whole clip and not just that I'll drag the beginning and here I have a whole clip now let's look at the uh, sound um, at the audio tracks I want to uh, make the audio tracks as big, big as I can so I float this container give more space to the, the audio tracks set them to extra large and zoom in quite a bit and see here I have the clapping sound from my Lumix from my main footage just to, uh, to make things easier I'll set the playhead as close as I can to the to the mark or to the peak not possible to do better okay and I go to the second clip I clicked and even though it doesn't move, I, I know I'm doing what I have to do and drop the... Um, so okay, so now I have the, the, the peaks pretty much uh, pretty well aligned. Bring this back to the way I like and uh, cancel, the, cancel out the zoom. Bring this back to a more normal size and I can check Now I'm listening to both sounds, and if you can hear an echo, it means that uh, the sound is not perfectly in sync. Well, sometimes you cannot have it perfectly in sound. Uh, the at worst, it'll, you'll be half a frame off. Uh, and here, half a frame. Well, one f I'm I shot in 25 frames per second, so half a frame is one fifteenth of uh, fi uh, fifty yeah fifteenth of a second. Um, 50th is <laughs> one fiftieth of a second. Uh, it's very acceptable. And check that I'm in sync everywhere, and that's good. So that's how you sync videos using the audio track. Now I'm going to turn this one off and this one off. Keep keeping only the Lumix uh, track, and I'm going to sync this with the footage coming from the Lee Grayer. 
I had to re-encode this footage because it was using a codec that HitFilm didn't want to work with. As a result, I got the image, but the sound is now off. So if I use the same uh, visual cue, this is not going to work. But I was careful enough. Okay, this is not very good. You have a better one. Later on, I made a gesture with my fingers. That should be about, no, maybe here. Okay, so it was just before this. Okay, here. I made a move with my fingers, scissors like. And I want to find the moment, uh, uh, moment as precise as I can. Um, so I'm going to look for the moment my fingers touch. This will this will be a, let's call it a sharp moment, a very precise spot. I'm clicking on next frame like crazy, but it's a uh, 30 frames per second. So uh, head film has to recalculate, and I missed. <laughs> let's go back a little bit. Okay, here it comes. Open my fingers. And they're open, open, open. And and soon enough. Soon enough, they will close. This is ugly. <laughs> Sorry, I have to keep you waiting. There it was. Here my fingers open, I'm moving forward, and here they're close. I'm going to look for the exact same moment here. Clap. Let's move to the fingers. Here they are, fingers. Fingers. Apart, apart, and here they are going to close. Here they don't touch, here they're closed. So it's uh, the precise frame again. Back here, set an endpoint, bring this onto the timeline, drag the beginning of the clip back in, turn uh, the audio off because I cannot, I told you it was out of sync. And now I'm going to check both visually and uh, by listening, visually by checking that those images are in sync and uh, by leaving the the Lumix audio on and see if it fits with what I say here okay it looks good enough let's check further down the clip near the end because sometimes, if you have clips with different uh, rates, um, it'll, uh, they'll, they'll be in sync where we worked, <laughs> but not before and not after. But this looks good. Okay, so that's how you sync uh, two video files using only the images. And now, for our last example, let's synchronize again this footage with the sound I uh, recorded separately. I'm going to look for that clean uh, clap sound I have. Okay, here I am. Let's go back a few frames. You don't have to be exactly precise, but uh, you want the, the, the peaks to be close together when you bring the tracks uh, one near another. Okay, so where's the clap? I have to listen. So listen. Okay, I heard the. I just heard the clap. So I set an endpoint. Bring this onto the timeline. Drag it, and make this big, so I can see the waveforms. So I'm going to compare this one with that one. So let's zoom in quite a bit. 
uh, OU size extra large. Bring this up so I have some room to see all the audio tracks. And here I have the one from the Lumix. Here's the peak from the clap. And here's the one from the audio from the, the th from the wave file. So I here I clicked on the peak, drag it to the playhead, and there it is. Okay back to let's make it that small I don't care now uh, no zoom bring this back to position and I'm going to listen to both the both audios at the same time so I can hear I will be able to hear whether there's an echo or something like this here I have both the image and the sound no I hear something that's perfect perfect and that's how you synchronize an audio with a separate um, sound file i hope this was um, useful and until next time goodbye